My fair young lady, may I make so free as to offer you my arm and company? Sir, I'm no lady, let alone a fair one, and I'll get home on my arm. Oh, heavens, but I never saw such beauty before. What loveliness. She looks so modest, virtuous, dutiful, with just a touch of sharpness. And what is more, the way she got rid of me was ravishment bordering on ecstasy. <laughs> Listen, you get that girl for me. Which one? That one. Ah, easier said than done. This evening she was at confession. Though she'd listen nothing to confess, I could scarcely believe such blamelessness. I have no power over such a sheep. Unless you get that girl and meet with, in bed with me by midnight, friend, consider our agreement at an end. Instead of immediate consummation, savour the pleasures of anticipation. Frontal assault will never win the day. We must adopt a more strategic way. Give me a present for her, straight away. Present? So soon? She's coming back this way. I brought these ones against just such a day. Although they were originally designed for someone outside of mine. <laughs> Temptations are all very much the same. Girls will be girls, and game is just a day. So take a seat and sit beside me here. Another fool. Here we go again. Where did he come from? How did he get in? The old one came in mighty cropper. He was a wine barrel. This one's a stopper. <laughs> <laughs> Why, to time of general celebration, need we be troubled with problems of the nation? But if you think we must, we must indeed. To business, gentlemen, let us proceed. <clears throat> what is the use of intellect? Goodness of the heart. The instinct to protect when immorality stalks through the land and mischief hatches mischief on every hand. Strong measures must be put in hand before the situation is out of hand. Where all men both inflict and suffer harm, even the monarchy is no longer safe. Days of disorder and insanity cannot be killed, it's how it looks to me. As for bank orders, all are deaf. Meanwhile, the mercenaries are going mutinous for food and pay. If they had money owing, they'd be off this very day. Forbid them what they are wanting, expecting you to up a hornet's nest. The empire which they should protect lies helpless, plundered and oppressed. The violence is allowed to rage unchecked. Already half the world is ruined wrecked. Your majesties, positions have become the looty property of other creatures. The people have no further confidence in spectacles of mutual incompetence. So each man bars his door, puts up the boards, and hides away in scrimps and saves and hoards. No money's coming in from anywhere. The treasury is void. The cupboard, sir, is bare. What's worse, your majesty? The wine's running out. <laughs> Through the fault of mine, it's all those swilling young aristocrats who specialize in emptying the vats as fast as they're filled. They seem unable to stop until they're underneath the table. <laughs> well, fool, will you add your stone to the can? No, sire. Look around. What can fail when your majesty's very glance makes strong men quail? No accident that fate has yet designed can crush your iron will and noble mind. He's a rogue. He understands. He's lying well to serve him. I see this game thinks under all these things. Well, next I wonder, some devious scheme. 
Where on earth is there not some deficit of this or that? In our case, gold is it. Of course, you can't just pick it off the floor. But insight might detect a hidden store. Who'll find it? Anyone prepared to seize on the force of nature and power of reason? Nature? Reason? Godlessness! Heretics have been burned for less! Nature means sin, and reason means the devil! I see you one of those learned men. What you can't touch is beyond your ken. I'm bored with this eternal when and how. We need gold. Good, get it here and now. I can do that, and more. The task is simple, though the work is hard. The gold is there, but how to get the stuff? That is the trick, and who knows where to start? Here is the point. Imperial invasion and foreign armies. Men in desperation have buried the most valuable possessions. Quiet, underground, lies wealth untold. The lands are your majesties. So is the gold. Well, Ray saw himself as pure gold. Mercury, the messenger, labours for his golden pay. While Madame Venus practices the wells on you, James Luna's rumour changes by the hour. Ah, but when Sol to Luna is alive, silver to gold, the world is open wide. All follow suit, man wins all he seeks. Palaces, parks, soft breasts and rosy cheeks. All this can be won by the learned men who can accomplish what no other can. Satan is spreading golden snares to catch the sinner unawares. In our position, if he gets the gold, the fact is we can't afford to mine some trivial malpractice. Shrewd fool to promise what we are want and desire. But where it comes from, soldiers don't inquire. What's all this? It's meaningless. Quackery and alchemy. Nah, too often heard. Don't believe a word. Deceiving folks. It's all a hoax. They cannot trust a great discovery. They just stand in astonishment and tell stories. Stories of mandrake roots and sorcery and old wives legends of the hounds of hell. If there is any truth in what you say, I'll lay down Alban's scepter on the spot and spit on the royal palms. If there is not, I'll send you packing down to hell. Thanks. I only know the way quite well. <laughs> First, I declare a carnival day of rest. Distracted minds are never at their best. <coughs> These idiots have never learned that luck is something to be earned. Give them the stone of wisdom and you'd find wisdom would vanish. The stone be left behind. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 